my movie maniacs out there, it is I, it is that time, and yes, today we're digging into the independent horror film festival bin, and we found ourselves motivational growth. The story of Ian, who's pretty much not, he's decided not to be a productive individual in society. He's decided to hold up in his house till probably the end of time, not feeling good about himself. He, uh, his, the conditions that he lives in are completely dirty and filthy and terrible, okay? Well, one day in his bathroom, the filth decides to start talking to him. And the filth, uh, the mold, uh, uh, promises to help him clean up his life and get on the right track. But, makes you wonder what the motivation of the mold truly is, and if he is truly going to help Ian, or if he's got his own sinister uh, plans for the man. Ah, motivational growth. Let me tell you, folks, this was a lot of fun. Okay, now I've likened it a little bit to a Naked Lunch or John Dies at the End. It's a bit surreal. I mean, after all, you've got a talking mound of filth. you got talking mold here, okay? Uh, but it's voiced by Jeffrey Combs. So you know you're going to get some great voice acting, and you do love his performance as the mold. Who knows? Uh, y you know, very charismatic voice. I mean, even though you've just got this kind of talking mold in the corner, he really gives some character to it through his voice and his reflections and everything he does. Jeffrey Combs is one of my favorite actors, and it was great to hear his voice in this film. Now, the guy playing Ian, Adrian Adi Giovanni, uh, does great carrying this film on his shoulders. I mean, he, you know, everything pretty well circles around him. And you really get this feeling of just, just giving up on life, okay, and just, just doing nothing. And he gets that across really well and sells that. And let me tell you, this house that they made filthy, oh my lord! Wow! The production design in general in this film is great, though it all pretty much holds to just his uh, apartment, except for some of the fake TV programs, which I'll talk about in a minute. But, uh, man, this apartment, you just can't imagine how someone can live in such a, a dirty, dingy apartment like this. And so I love the set dressings and, and the props and everything and the production design. Very well done, a very professional looking for independent, uh, low-budget film of this nature. Now, the TV shows that they had in here, they have some fake TV shows, like a fake fitness show, fake cop uh, sci-fi show. Love those. I wanted those to be real shows. Those were so much fun. They definitely captured the kind of cheesy 80s uh, uh, you know, sci-fi film and a cheesy 80s TV that you had back then, including the infomercial, which uh, just floored me as well. And what's interesting, too, is I uh, kind of, you know, f have the feeling like it's set in the 80s. Uh, you've got the music, which is kind of done through that 8-bit sound, as it's called. You know, that kind of Atari type of music, the Commodore type of music, and there's a reason why they chose that, and it really fit the film. You wouldn't think something like that with the subject that it has would fit it, but it does fit it. It really helps you kind of connect to Ian and how what's going through his mind. So I love the musical choice in that. The, the cast of characters around him, including the girl that Ian obsesses over, uh, are, are great. Everybody does fantastic with the characters. They've got a very unusual group of characters that come across in Ian's life, and you never knew exactly what you were going to get when there was a knock at the door. Motivational Growth is an unusual independent film. It, I, I loved the kind of surrealisms, their metaphors in there, the messages that are in there, and just... It's a film that doesn't lay everything out for you. You kind of do thinking for yourself, which I like. You don't get that enough, especially out of Schlollywood. Okay, it, it presents itself, and what you get out of it or how you piece it together is up to the viewer, which is really great. So if you're a fan of independent horror, if you're a fan of a different type of horror film, uh, this has got comedy in it as well as some horror elements. Uh, it's got a little bit of everything in it. It's definitely a film I would recommend, especially if you were fans of, say, films of like John Dies at the End or Naked Lunch. This is definitely a film that's right up your alley. Now, you can catch it at a number of film festivals. It's on the circuit right now. There's another hole in the wall head. Uh, another Hole in the Head, excuse me, another Hole in the Head Film Festival. That's in November, December. It'll be there. It'll be at the House Core Horror Film Festival. Uh, October 25th, 5th through the 27th is when that festival is. And all you geeks out there, check it out at Gen Con as well. You can go, I'll put the link to their website 
definitely an interesting horror film. You're looking for something different. Motivational growth definitely fits in that category in a positive way way. I enjoyed a lot of aspects of this and it's definitely a film uh, that I ho hope will be watching again soon. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stuff.